What's up guys, we're here with Tim. He's got the Batman Lancer fully customized. I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit about it. Um, built this for charity, so what What all, What all? inspired you to build this, man? What, what's it all about? Um, when I was a kid, I always loved Batman. Uh, it was my getaway. If I ever was sad, upset, you know, got in a fight with my parents or something, I would sit down in my room, read my Batman comics. It, it always calmed me down. So yeah, I've always been a Batman lover. It's, you know, I kept, kept with it all through my adulthood. Because you know it kept me a child at heart, and then I started realizing, you know what, this would be a good thing for charity. You bought this car stock? Or? I bought this car stock in 2014, brand new. So supposedly Joe over here helped him do a lot of the work, and kind of kind of took him under his wing a little bit, and mentored him, and helped him out with a lot of these mods. He would come up with the ideas he was telling me, and uh, him and Joe would make it happen. So. Do um, you want to show us a couple of things on here, what you have done? Well, the main thing that does stand out is the, the Lambo doors on it. Uh, they don't make a Lambo door kit for Mitsubishi Lancer, so you either have to go universal or make it work. What we did, we made it work. We bought a Dodge Avenger Lambo door kit from uh, Vertical Door Inks. They sponsored me, and we took it in a garage, drilled some holes, you know, said a lot of few choice words in a garage. <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> we got it done, so. Heck yeah. Um, it's got the FQ style front bumper on it. Uh, that front bumper, we bought it for about $600. I decided I didn't like it. So I started cutting the heck out of the grill, hogging it up. And then uh, my best friend Falcon, he's with Black Tie Customs, a great guy, man. I love him to death. And uh, he took my, my bumper in one day because I was being a delinquent. I cracked it, you know, over a speed bump. And he says, you know what, let me fix it. So when he fixed my bumper, he surprised me. He says, you know what, I'm going to do something a little little flair to it and what he did was he went down and customized some Batman logos added in that front bumper so now it's a one of a kind. Uh, if you guys heard the story of the lady that was attacked by the dogs here in Spring Hill, Florida. The sheriff says this 64 year old woman was on the receiving end of a vicious attack by a pack of dogs just near her backyard. Witnesses describing it as a gruesome and chaotic attack in this backyard, leaving that victim severely injured. Investigators seized at least four of the dogs involved. I'm told around noon today that pack charged that 64 year old woman. If it wasn't for that group of brave neighbors stepping in, this woman would have likely been killed very very sad story that was his mother-in-law they have a uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link so you guys can read the story they have a um, is it a GoFundMe uh, Facebook fundraiser Facebook fundraiser uh, to help out with their medical bills and stuff like that and it was actually a very 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 gruesome terrible uh, accident that happened with these dogs and uh, she's not in the best of shape and so lots of prayers and any donations that, that you guys can help out with would oh, be yeah. greatly appreciated so yeah we're gonna we're gonna get the put the link down in the description for you guys to help out with that and uh, read the backstory and uh, see if you can help out in any ways we would greatly appreciate it and I know their family would as well so this car was inspired for charity how, how did that come about uh, well, it came about one time where, you know, I was taking it to kids' events and I've seen the smiles on the kids' faces. and I said, you know what, I could do this for charity. And I ran across a really good friend of mine one time, he introduced me to this lady, and he says, you know what, her child would really love your car, you know, maybe you should take it over her house, you know, let him see the car. I says, okay, cool, I'm down for it, I love kids. Well, he didn't really fill me in on the full backstory, but when I finally got to the lady's house, I came to find out that the child had cancer, and he was actually a Make-A-Wish Foundation kid. So what I did was I took him out, I let him sit in the car, I took him a ride for the car. I actually have a CO2 purge in the car, 
and he loved pushing that button, seeing the smoke. He was even telling the Make-A-Wish officers, look, I'll show you. And, the, you know, they were afraid. They're like, no, no, don't go near that car. I said, no, that's his car. So he got in there and he goes, watch this. Psh, psh, I mean, making all the sounds. All oh, he loves it. So that's when I really started doing a lot of charity events. You know, I got comic book stores that I'm friends with the owners. They'll call me, hey, I'm having a kid's events. I'm like, I'm there. You know, I don't care. I'll let the kids sit in the car. They're not going to break anything that I can't fix. Right. I love them, man. You know, it's, it's just seeing the smile on their face. Well, that's cool, man, seeing you have this car all built and customized and uh, for a better cause, too, man. So it's cool. It's unique. It's one of a kind. And it's uh, it's built for, for the kids, man. It's built for charity. All right, Tim, thanks for showing us the car. Really appreciate it, man. It's definitely a unique uh, work of art here. Yes, thank you. Um, if you guys want to see this car at a local charity event, if you want to get him out there, reach out to his Instagram. I'm going to put his Instagram, uh, which is also his Facebook, down in the description. Any kind of charity that you would like to see Batman roll up in person, uh, reach out to him, shoot him a direct message, and uh, he'll see if he can make it out there. And I know plenty of Batman cosplayers, so if you need <laughs> Batman personally there, I got you. There you go. You got Batmobile and Batman on deck. So reach out to him. Go check out his uh, Instagram. All right, guys. I'm here with Joe Obsessions Rodriguez in the building. Big dog right here. What up? And uh, he's the one that uh, threw together the last car show that we went to uh, at the gymnastics place. One top of the contenders. best car. Yeah, top contenders. One of the best car shows I've ever been to, hands down. And uh, come to find out, that was his first car show he ever threw guys so that going was pretty up awesome from there. yeah so Only moving up from there what uh so what are your plans what are your plans for this year man what do you um within the year as i said i wanted to get everything as far as all your domestics or slings i want to get everything together get everybody together and, and have the fun with it and i actually want to take the car shows for my next either six months or uh the year that i do it i want to have it that everybody gets more involved right. um as far as i'm a, i've got a five foot beach ball I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it yet, but I got that. Um, I've got a dunk tank basically on standby. I want to do like dark balloons. I want to get everybody off of, enjoy the cars and everything, talk about the cars and the family. But I want to get everybody off the chairs and involved with everything and just enjoy it as, as much as I can. So I'm going to raise the bar for the show so either people that are doing shows now are going to follow the trend or they're going to get left behind because I'm, I'm stepping it up for Hernando, period. You heard him. He's stepping it up. Get off the lawn chairs and participate in these car shows. Those are my favorite type of car shows. Those are the best ones. And uh, I think he's got a good thing going. We got some cars stealing the show, baby. But uh, this is his... We got a couple cars stealing the show. <laughs> this is his Nissan 350 or 370? 350Z with the... Uh, it's the 08 with the VQ35HR instead of the DE. Nice, nice. What all do you got done to this thing, man? Everything? Just about everything. Uh, I can tell you more or less, like I, I didn't remove the stock carpet. <laughs> um, I haven't uh, supercharged the turbo. That's the only thing I haven't done to it, but as reliable as it is now, especially with the nitrous on it, I have no problems with it. It's an all around car and I, it's, it's just fun. Guys, just he, fun. he he's like me. He likes it fast and loud. So he sacrificed some of the speed for uh, a bunch of heavy stereo equipment, just like I did in the Camaro. So. Check this out, he's got a 15 inch sub in here guys. 15 inch sub, bunch of heavy box equipment, uh, but that's to make up for it right there, the nitrous. Hey Joe, you wanna give us a little uh, demo of the sound real quick? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Do I have my US? Look at this guys, look at this shifter. Look at that. That's <laughs> old school, old school. What is this? It's a pedal commander and it's got all different settings from saving gas, city, sport, and the sport plus. Driving Sport Plus is almost impossible. You touch the throttle, 
it acts as if it's full throttle. Oh. There's no in between. It's either Ooh, fully on good. or fully off. <laughs> so what do you got in here? 115? What it's is it? 115. It's actually an American base um, basket and motor, and then I got it's got so, uh, sundown soft parts as far as the, okay. the front part of its surrounding cone and all that. So he's got one sundown 15. What uh? What what amp? Um, it's actually a Rockville, I think it's an 8,000, but RMS is only like 3,500, something like that. So it's pushing around 35,000, 4,000 to it. One, two, three, yeah. And that's probably like 45 or something like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, if I had good, the bro. USB with the oh, 32, I know, the USB. The that's 32 like putting hertz, premium. It's like, bro, that's like putting air. premium oh. gas in it. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's and a I race car. This is a race car running on uh, regular gas right now. Yeah, I have to have my base, bro, no matter what. I, I grew up with it, and what got me into everything was actually low riders. And then from low riders, it went to sound competitions. And then from that, I had an 82 Grand Prix that I turned into a low rider. And I had four 12s and four a fourth order box in that big old trunk. Bro, I love <laughs> Hell it. Hell yeah. And I have to keep my base. I have to. I know some niggas ass mad that I'm making it. They talking all that shit, talking hot and they debating it. Remember when they used to laugh? Yeah, they were hating it. I know when they all shine, and those people will be facing it. And me and my guys, yeah, we stay on our grind. We reaching for the sky, and yeah, one day we'll fly. I told my brother Jay that we all gon' be fine. He asked me, can we shine? I said, yeah, it's our time. He was like, dream so big, gotta take it. We brought it to the top, and I know they gonna hate it. The niggas who just hate all the ones who's gonna face it. We gonna be the case. Like my nigga, yeah, we racing. Yeah. Dream so big, gotta take it. We're doing our thing, man. I know we gonna make it. Some people say. All right, Tim, once again, thank you, brother. Appreciate you. everything, man. And uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button if you want to. It really helps me out. Go out there and be a delinquent. We out. Rockstar lifestyle is tatted on my brain. I'ma bring the dollars. Let Obama bring the change. See me in the type of crowd for money. When I won't, don't grow on trees. The way I'm living, I'ma die to shine and make a thing. What I need.